Good morning and welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to build this hothouse tomato cage or pepper cage with one goal. Get your tomatoes out earlier, get them larger, same thing with peppers. Peppers can take a long time. Get them out into this setup. This is going to warm, stay warm through mid-April to the beginning of May in my area, Maryland Zone 7, and the plants are going to grow much more quickly. Let me just show you real quick how I set this up so you can see if you're interested in following the rest of the video, but I'm going to show you how to set up the soil, how to plant the plants, and how to build this. Simple rubber band on top. You could use clips. This is a clear trash bag from Home Depot. It's a 50 gallon bag. And all we're doing is setting up the clear bag on the bottom and we're going to raise it and lower it as temperatures dictate in our zones. And this will, will create a nice microclimate where the heat will take care of the tomato plant. They love heat, so do peppers, and they'll take off. Also, I'm using a dark bucket, a black bu bucket, so the sun rays come in, warm this up. They love warm uh, root systems, and that will make a difference too. Let me show you how I set all of this up and take a pepper from start to this point. So setup's pretty easy. This tomato over here, for instance, was sitting out in a five gallon container and a frost came about seven days ago and you can see it killed off the leaves. The plant's okay because the frost, the frost isn't getting into the root system and killing out the plant. But with this type of protection, you can get your peppers, tomatoes out earlier and you can protect them from getting damaged like this. Plus, it's going to create a very warm environment so they're going to take off. To set it up, five gallon bucket, and what I'm recommending for this year is to really come up about an inch, put a large hole in here. This will be a water a reserve, a reservoir, and it's not going to cause root rot or anything like that. It's not enough water in there to cause damage, but it is enough water in there to protect your plants if you forget to uh, water them and it gets to be a hot day, you're going to be able to save your plants. Never let your container plants dry out even one time because it will damage the system. Now to set this up for fertilizer, I'm making my own mix again this year and I did a video on that and I'll put a link in. But fill this up halfway with your container mix. You break this up. Fill it up halfway. You're going to put in two tablespoons of any organic fertilizer you want to use. And I recommend staying at around the 555 NPK. So it's about two tablespoons. Follow the directions on the pack. Fill this up halfway, mix in the fertilizer so you've taken care of half of the container. Also put in some garden lime and you don't want your tomatoes or peppers to get blossom end rot. It's just about that much lime. It's not even a tablespoon. Sprinkle down in the bottom. That will supply the calcium that is needed to prevent blossom end rot. Fill up the rest of the container. Now over here, you can see that I have a oven bag and I'm using these as liners just in case plastic leaches some sort of chemicals uh, when they get hot. Um, I don't know if that's true, but by putting in the oven bag, you create a barrier and you don't need to worry about it. Now of course, I ran out of oven bag, so I'm not putting one in here. So once you fill it up again, real quickly, another two tablespoons in top. You could add more lime here if you wanted to, but you don't have to. So once you have that set up, it's ready to feed your plants. You're just going to drop the 50 gallon clear bag underneath of here for a pepper. I don't like keeping these cotton liners on there, even though they say the roots will grow through them. I don't know. So I just tear it like this, dig a hole. We're going to pinch off some of the leaves on the peppers. And I'm actually going to plant a tomato in that one just to show you how to do that too. And we're going to plant it to just about here. You don't have to plant a pepper to depth like you do with the tomato. I'll show you how to do that. Just drop it in. And that will set up your pepper. Now you can drop this liner bag around here. We would put wood mulch on top of here. That will help control moisture. The plastic bag is hidden. And then you just need any size tomato cage, bamboo poles, posts, whatever. Press it in. And you're going to just raise and close 
the trash bag as temperatures dictate. Now, if it's 40, 50 degrees during the day, you can raise this up, leave a little hole. Um, this way any extra heat will get out. But by doing that, it's gonna feel like a 60, 70, 80 degree day to your pepper plant, to your tomato plant, they're gonna grow quicker. Now, probably the most worry is if you pull this up and you seal it, and it gets to be upper 60, 70 degrees with full sun, you can run the risk of creating um, an environment that is way too hot and it damages your plant. So when the temperatures is get, or, yeah, when the temperature is getting to a day temperature in the 70s, you want to really open this up wide. You can slide it down. Just make sure there's enough venting that the heat doesn't build up here and damage your plants. You can get some rubber bands just like this. Take the rubber bands, just tie them together at the end, and then you can use that to secure your plastic on here. And this way you can move the rubber band up and down and it works really, really well. Let me just show you the tomato real quick. Nothing fancy and this is, you know, I don't know what this one is actually. I've been growing it and it's been surviving so we're gonna give it a chance. And if you look in here, you can see all these bumps. That's not a disease or insect, uh, eggs or anything crazy like that. That's just new root nodes starting to form. This plant wants to root. I've been pouring water straight on here, so anytime the stem gets a lot of water or moisture on it, it starts to look all bumpy like this, so don't freak out if you see that. Again, peel the plastic back. And then when you plant a tomato, I like to plant about a third of the stem. Roots will come out of here. So just dig the hole. Drop it in to the depth you want. Press it in and this will set up the tomato to be put into a hothouse cage just like that. Hope you enjoyed the video and this gives you some idea of how you can use a 50 gallon trash bag, a basic frame, and just raise and lower to create a hothouse to really grow your tomatoes and peppers sooner by getting them out up to four to six weeks early depending on what your temperature is like. They will love the heat, they will grow, and come mid-May, when other people are just getting started in Maryland Zone 7, you're going to have plants that are probably delivering fruit for the tomatoes in the green version, not red yet, and your peppers will be flowering. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com, and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.